welcome back guys to Funky Fishing. We are back out on the sound today. Last time we were here, we were going for Black Sea Bass. We were with Peter Ramirez II. Check out his YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, by the way. And uh, he brought us out here and showed us a bunch of wrecks, a bunch of spots to go to get Black Sea Bass. He brought home two keepers, and I think I lost two keepers. I, I, I maybe got like five, six Black Sea Bass, but none of them were big enough, biggest being 15 and a half inches. So 16 is a keeper. So I am back out here with a vengeance this time. Doing a solo mission, it's a pretty far distance. This is my first time going this far solo, but I did it with Peter, and today's gonna be a calm day. So I'm feeling confident, and I'm hoping to get a keeper. He's been bugging at me, gnawing at me before I go to bed, but I didn't get those keepers. So I'm back here to get the job done. It's gonna take about an hour to get there. We'll throw on the motor. See you guys when I catch. Alright guys, it's been an hour, we're coming up on our face on our first uh, waypoint. Let's see if we can catch them up. Okay fellas, we're at the wreck. We're gonna gear up, we're gonna start off with an ounce, it's not so windy today. Which is good, because I wouldn't be out here if it was windy. And so, I don't think there'll be too much of a pull, current wise. So we're gonna do a classic Grub. Okay, and we're simply gonna reposition ourselves right back over the we go. That's fish on. Black sea bass, it's a keeper. Alright, come on guys. Come on. We got a keeper. We came back out and we did it. We came back out. Oh man, guys. We were... We were losing sleep over not catching a keeper. First one we hooked today, this morning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Look at this absolute beauty. Beauty of a fish. He is gonna be delish. Look, he's got that, that bump that they get when they get a little bit bigger. Let's see exactly how much he is. About 16 and a bit. So we can keep him. <laughs> success guys, success. All right, let's bleed him. Spent the whole hour, got up early, and that's it. Got us dinner. Looks like I may have caught structure or something. Because it ripped off. Got a retie.
keeper maybe. Another keeper. Gonna be eating good tonight. <laughs> he took my grub. Got to replace it. Sea bass. It's what's for dinner. Barely. He's probably 15, 14. So far, I hope I get him. So he is landing. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Biggest of the day so far. I think we're already at our limit. We have our dinner. This could be the biggest one of the day. Not the biggest. Day. See Robin. That's why his head wasn't shaking, I guess. So I just lost another jig. So I'm gonna retie, and that was my sign to move spots. Got uh, three keepers here. We got our limit over here. So now we're just kind of exploring and understanding these other wrecks. This wreck over here that we just got the keepers at, I feel like I understand it. I know where it starts, I know where it ends. I know where it has kind of like a, a higher point in the middle towards the end so as you can see all that red I went all over that wreck so we're gonna try another wreck I'm gonna tie this guy up and uh, see how we do this will be the biggest I think no just a big one Probably could keep them, but I got my limit. Could probably keep this guy. All right, this is—it's not a sea robin. This is a nice sea bass. Please don't come off, buddy. I think he's pretty much on.
Oh yeah. Nice sea bass. again it's just part of the fishing but today it paid off heck yeah all right ladies and gentlemen that was quite a day if you guys saw my last sea bass video go check it out uh i came out i caught a bunch of sea bass but not one keeper luckily my buddy peter of uh peter ranieri the second youtube channel go check it out he got two keepers so that was like two, three days ago. And ever since that day, I've kind of been like, oh, because, you know, I hooked ones that were definitely keeper size that got off. And so it was just so frustrating. And it was hard because I was like, when am I going to get another pocket of really great weather to go four miles out by myself? You know, I got to be safe. And luckily, a couple days later, three days later, it worked out and boom, three keepers biggest being 18 ish that's uh, this one they're all just beauties this guy's pretty cool too he's like all blue and stuff awesome stuff but yeah guys that's a good day of black sea bassing right there so what did i learn today i learned a couple of things because this is my second time ever wreck fishing the first time was with peter and i learned a lot then but today i learned how to use my electronics a little bit more waypoints and how to zoom in on the map and how to stay on point a little bit better how to drift over the wrecks a little bit better i'm still having difficulty like once i hook them i'll even pump them up five ten feet and they'll just come off so i mean these guys very aggressively move their their head so i'm thinking when they move their head it just like kind of pops off and I guess I just need to set it harder because that's probably what's what's what I'm doing incorrectly is I'm kind of just feeling them giving it a pump you know giving it a little bit of a pump and then just kind of like reeling it up I think I need to give them one of those crazy sets like and that's going to be the key to these guys because they are kind of tough to hook it really just goes to show if you're determined if you follow what you've learned you're going to get what you need you're gonna get what you want. I really wanted some keepers. I got none last time. I really made an effort to get out here again. And it worked. Beautiful thing. That's actually one of the things I love about fishing is you can picture something in your mind. You can research how to make that happen and you can make it happen many times. And there's so many different species you could do that to. And it's just very satisfying. It's like a like dopamine just like goes off or something like that when when you accomplish what you really set out to do you know and the harder it was to figure it out the more satisfying it is and these guys you have to go all the way out 50 to 70 feet four miles out so it's really satisfying when you get it all right guys well i'm gonna degut these guys and we're gonna head back beach ourselves and get out of here out guys in its stomach was a mantis shrimp look at this it's got the shrimp like it's a big type of shrimp and Peter also the guy who brought me here he's been <laughs> finding them with this in it and if you take a look at this you see the ribbing so I'm pretty sure that especially let's say this color is what it's trying to imitate. You see how the ribbing, the ribbing, 
and it's kind of similarly sized and this gives it the action to be like ah come look at me but i think this body is essentially imitating this and obviously a bunch of other uh you know bait fish and bait things out there but i think this is why it's so effective with black sea bass it's cool stuff you see what they eat you learn what lure they want video as you saw I was holding Peter's fish and I mentioned that I did not accomplish my goal but I came back a couple days later I got my limit always a beautiful thing when you plan prepare and it works out so next time guys stay groovy